Hi, welcome back to our tutorials on website designing using Adobe Dream by CS3. In our previous lessons, we learned something about how to insert a table in a website or adding a table into your website document. Then we did uh, insert a file for, for download. So all these things gives you access. So what you are going to do is, if you want to want, if you want to insert a, a music file for people to want to download, it's the same procedure. So you just have to insert or create a, a folder for music, so that your music document will be in that particular folder. So you are just giving an idea that whatever you want to add into your website, you should have. A folder for it specifically so that locating it will not be a problem for you so in a previous lesson we, we learned how to, uh, to insert a file for uh, for download and after inserting a file when you open the browser when the person clicked on the link it just opened the uh, the PDF document for the person to uh, to click to uh, for download so in Dreamweaver or in a website, you have access to or to add all these features into it. So basically, in website designing, these are what the fundamental things that you need to do what added. Now we did changing of what image in a certain page. So this changing image, you can find it at I think at the at the services or so. Yeah, services. We did changing of the image. So there is a question that why is this table so wider for us? The table settings, there is an error in the table settings and we will configure it by what doing it. So the question is, can your layout be expanded? Yes, you can expand it, especially here. Maybe you want the table to be in this format, you like it in this format. So if you just want to expand the, the the page layout yes you can do it so all that you have to do you just have to go back to the dream event. you go to where your table is so when you come to the table option what you have to do is just you just have to click at the main css table then you just have to work to put your cursor on the middle bar and draw drag it downward to where you want to work to be so I'll just go on a little bit so this one will affect only only the the services so put it in mind it will not affect the other pages it will only affect only the services so I will just have to expand them by clicking it then I will drag the button note downward then for the images let's say the image I will, I will manage it like this and insert another uh, div command for another image so like this so let's say this place will be meant for advertising so i'll just have to i just have to type in here advertise advert advertise advertisement so I'll make it advert here. Contact us for contact us for your advert. Contact us for your advert. So I'll put it here. I'll do it. Insert this command for the person. So all that I will do. Which just highlighted, edited to the like some styles that I've made. I really wish to you, so I will just have to do that. <coughs> then I'll go in for the font. This time I will change this font style over here. So all that I have to do is just hold down my shift and press enter so that the text will be at the middle of the page. So it's going to be something like that. So I've created or uh, I've expanded the, uh, the page into that. So I'll just go to my browser and refresh the page and I'll have this. So you can see that 
this space what's meant for so let me give it a color so that you will know you identify that option that area in this one so so I choose this now I made mention that it's only this portion that you have the page word expanded so let's check at the other side now you see that this page is at the normal side this when it come to the training side you have this then when you come to the same thing so you see that it's only the services that will change so this is how a web is done so you can expand your web page settings to the style you prefer so I've expanded my page so whatever that you want to do you can work you can do it so contact I'm going to clean this off then oh, so at the contact we are going to create a form contact form try to create a contact form so try to create a contact form so I'll just contact So I will just have to go to so I just have to go to forms. So the forms I will have access to what to so certain things. So the forms, what are the things that I need the person to uh, to insert? So first of all, I'll go in for button. So the button will be what submit. If the person finish with the with the entry or stuff 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 stuff, uh, the person need to to click on certain thing to uh, to get us done. So I will just choose. Then I will come to this portion where I will have name. So I will ask the person to type in name. so this is it then I will go in for another command for contact this time I will type this so contact then I will have this comment so the comment I will provide this area so comment So I'll put a message then insert. So immediately this one comes out how for how I want my page looks to look like. So I'll just come to this angle. I'll click on this. So at the top I'll just type my This is my contact info. So I will push the so I will just have to put this so that I will have my pages done. So I will just use this one. Then I'll clean this command over here because I don't need this text. So I'll save it and refresh the browser. Then I'll go to contact. So basically, I click on the contact, I'll have the view like this. Now, the contact here, you here is where you'll be typing your information, whatever that you want to 
uh, ask, ask this out to do with the person you have. So I'm just going to insert that a red for uh, the color is too for the typing area. So I'm going to do it maybe 55. So 55 is okay. So I also do the same thing to the person. So let me make it 50. 50 is going to be that's okay. So this is my command then this one to I'll make it 50. So let me make it 60. Yes. 60 is even more than that. So I'll make it 58. 57. Because I wanted to, to match the yes, so I have it here. So over here is where now someone may ask after 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 the person would Typed in all the messages. What, where is he sending it? If the person click on the submit, where does it go? Where does it go? So we are going to learn this into <coughs> into <coughs> sorry <coughs> into a, an email. So the email is a company email. Or you can even direct it to the the secretary of the company direct. So the secretary, all that they have to do is just have to insert the email over here, the email of the person. So I will insert it here. So that one I'll do it in the next video. So this is our contact form. If someone wants to get access to us, he or she have access to by sending us this info so the website you have access to to create anything based on your company you can create anything but it should be based on your company info so the contact we have it there so when you go to about us the person should have something about us when you go to the class the person should have something so i'll just change it so that the interface will be looking different different so that you may not get confused so i'm going to put this question at the training so when i come to the training dialog area i will just have to highlight this portion and what paste it so i will have my question what created so all that I have to do is just what add bullet to to the question. So I've created so I need to add bullet to this. So oh, I'll choose no, I don't need to. So let me choose this one. I don't need the whole content to be what bullet. So I'll just have to change this i will have the format board then i will tie it one over here so question four one i have two over here and the last one comes so all this time you can have access to it you can do it on your own so these are the things that you can do in Dreamweaver. So, these are the things. So far, so good. You've gone through a lot of things that you can what, do in the future. This is for tutorial sake. So, after this one, you are going to use this format to design your own website with all features as we've gone through so when you come to the browser you will have it in this format so this is the form when you come to the service you have it this is in a different view when you come to this angle too you have it in a different thing now in Dreamweaver, we have something called rollover rollover of an image so let me go to 
to about us. So about us, I'm going to insert something called rollover. So I'm 